absolutely nailed that. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> she asked me out on the first day. And I hated every minute of that. Don't make her think you are a creep. He's coming to me. <laughs> Welcome to our channel, it's Tana and Dom, and today it's our first ever video. We're actually so stressed, you may not see it, but we are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're so used to making short videos, to actually record a YouTube video for the first time it is. This has taken a lot of moments for us to be able to just calm down, relax. Okay. I think this is our We actually make tip. coffee, so you know, you can make coffee yourself. Yes. Get your coffee, sit back and relax because we are going to tell you the story of how we first met. So, I was on Tinder. <laughs> um, <laughs> as it starts better. As it starts, uh, yeah, and uh, I was just looking at different guys and then I saw this one and I'm like, oh, Ginger. And that's actually a crazy story because a few years ago I said to my girlfriends, I will date like anyone but Ginger. I'm trying not to get yeah, and the angry and emotional. The universe heard me and so here, here we are right now. And I thought he's Irish and that's how I swipe him right. It's right, right or left? I don't know. That's a good sign though. That's actually a yeah, good sign. Yeah, if you is, don't right? know, it means that you've not been on the app in a long time. So. Um, I think for me, my first memories were, I don't actually remember swiping, I don't remember the moment swiping Tanya on Tinder, because, you know, we've not even mentioned the fact of where we were, we were both in Shanghai, yeah, in that's China true. at the time, that's probably an important part as yes. well. Um, I was um, working there, and Tanya was a student She's there. Not in Chinese there? Yeah. 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 And um, yeah, Tinder was the way to meet, let's be very honest, it was the way to meet people in China. It is the like, way it, to like meet people in China. Yeah, it's a perfect way. And I, all I remember is seeing Tanya's picture and her name, and I immediately thought, ooh, Italian. And I thought, oh, you know what, Italian, I've never dated an Italian girl before. And I thought, that's quite exotic, it's quite, be quite new for me. So I think immediate, I think even her picture as well looked Italian-like. And so for me, it was an easy sort of swipe. So one of us <laughs> was going on a date with an Irish, and another <laughs> one was going on a date with an Italian. That, that's great. It was not a good start, though, because we're thinking of different nationalities. <laughs> <laughs> so we added each other on WeChat. And, and anyone doesn't know what WeChat is, by the way, that's what's Chinese up messenger. in China. And the first message I got, it was, hey, stranger. Do you remember that? Hey, stranger. Who is texting that? Like, what, what is this? <laughs> Hey stranger. What's that? That's why you texted me. The first message was hey stranger. Was the first message? No, it was on, on WeChat. On WeChat. The first your, your first message on WeChat was hey stranger. And I was like, hmm. It was obviously my, my smooth move, wasn't it? So yeah, then we started talking um, on WeChat. And uh, honestly, it was very annoying. <laughs> I I was having a great time talking yeah, to you. Yeah, she was having a great time. I was really annoyed. So we're, we're talking a lot. We're talking like, um, oh, I think it's every, quite easy every, to talk to each other. Yeah, it was, yeah, it it was, was very nice. It was a nice conversation. Nice. And I was obviously waiting when he's going to invite me for a date because I'm like, I'm not inviting him, okay? So what, for, for a week we were talking, and during this week he was very busy. He was working the whole day, and in the evening he was busy as well. He was like trying to learn Chinese back then, playing football, tutoring, doing everything. And I was like, okay, just waiting, you know. Yeah. And texting me like, have you ever been to this restaurant? I'm like, that's the moment. That's the moment. <laughs> He's coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, I've never been to. And I'm telling my girls like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna invite me now. <laughs> and I was like, it's a good one, you should go there. Oh. Because I felt like it's a good place for you to do. Who is doing that? Who is doing things like that? Me, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, 
thank you for advice or a truth advisor, but okay. <laughs> and it wasn't one time. And a few couple of days later, he went to, um, to a nice brunch and he's texting me like, have you ever been there? You should definitely experience this. I'm like, no, never been there. He's like, yeah, I definitely advise you to go one day there. The more you're saying this, the more I realize what an idiot <laughs> I was actually. Yep, yeah, right? It's, yeah. I never thought I was an idiot back then, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that but was, listen to it that now. That was so weird. That was, that was weird, but... I'm like, so lucky okay. you carried on talking to me. You know, it's just, <laughs> I, I think I like him. I like the conversation, so I was like, I, I'll give him a chance. Okay, he, he is busy, so it's fine. And... Um, yeah, and on the weekends, I left to another city and he texted me. Um, no, okay, I left to another city and I was on the way back already. And he texted me that, oh, actually, he doesn't have anything to do. He's free at home. He's bored. And I'm like, I'm, 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 with, my, uh, I'm with my friend and we're reading his messages. And like, yeah, he's definitely, definitely, he's, he's telling you. He's telling you he has time. And I'm like, yeah, but he's not inviting me. And I was like, you should invite him. I, I don't know how I didn't at this point invite you out on a date, still uh, even at question. this point. So I was on a train and, and, and I texted him, uh, him uh, do you want to have a drink? There it is. And he took 10, 15 minutes to reply. And I hated every minute of you that. You counted the minute. Of course you counted the minute. When you invite something, someone, you know, you can't like you just wait on your phone for reply because how come you don't reply the same second and and I yeah I'm on my phone on the train I'm like oh my god <laughs> I just invited him and and let's be very clear about this and this is something that I always remind Tanya of not well, quite on a daily basis but certainly a weekly basis she asked me out on the first date let's get that as a headline Tanya asked Dan on first date you know what I did? I did, and I'm proud of it. A few hours later, we mm. met uh, in the metro. Yeah, met in the metro, and the, and for me, this is one of the first memories, or one of my most favourite memories of Tanya. It's going to sound a bit corny now, but I just remember standing, like, kind of leaning on the wall of the metro, pretending to be super cool. I've got to think about. I've got to be in a stance right now. I know she's going to come to me, so I've got to look cool. What have I seen in all the movies? Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> lean back on the wall, I'm gonna have one leg up, I'm gonna be on my phone, you know, look all important and everything, you know, I don't wanna look too interested when she comes. And I just remember just seeing her smile for the first time. And I think my first feeling was, <sighs> thank goodness for that. Cause you never, you, you guys, anyone who's been on Tinder before knows the Tinder can be hit and miss in terms of what your expectations are and what you're actually, um, <laughs> what you actually So you chose me for have. my appearance? No, not at all, <laughs> not at all. But let's be very honest though, when you meet people on Tinder for the first time and it's like, it, 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 is, it is all that appearance true. at the start with That's a true. bit of personality. Now. That's true. But it was just Tanya Smart, I just thought, you know, amazing. And I think that, that is the first moment I realized, wow, this girl is different to any girl I met before. Which, you know, to anyone who may, who may, who may not have met, you know, that person yet in their lives, it may sound ridiculous. Because certainly single me listening to this right now, they go, yeah, right, mate. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, she's got a nice smile. You know, but I think, I think that's when I actually yeah. realized. And, I just remember us going up the escalator out of the metro and you just smiling at me all the way through. In fact, I think Tanya just smiled at me throughout the whole bit. We went to, uh, oh my God, what's it? It was an Irish bar in Shanghai, close to where we lived. Because actually we lived really close to each other. We probably we walked past know. each other, we just didn't know, obviously. Yeah. And we sat down and immediately as soon as she sits down, I look down and I goes, whoa, legs. I think yeah, that was the first thing I realised. I think that's what I re what I remember first. I mean, right? Like, okay, come on, Dan. Don't 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 ruin this. Don't make her think you are a creep. In Shanghai, obviously, I was a student. I was doing some part time job, but it didn't didn't bring a lot of money. So on a date, I was going with no money. But I was like, I'm too proud to go uh, without any money. So I asked my my friend to loan me money. <laughs> so I just had a few. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you yuan, which is Shani's money. To, I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy myself a drink. It's probably gonna be enough for one, two drinks, and that's it. But that's okay. <laughs> Did you have to use it in the end? No, I didn't have to use it. See, I'm a gentleman. Yep. Let that be another headline yep. of this video. Yeah, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> I don't really remember all the exact conversations, but one conversation I do remember having is trying to explain to Tanya the rules of rugby. And trying to explain to a Russian rugby rules was... I had no idea. Interesting. However, because she was trying to save face and trying to look all interested, she just smiled and nodded throughout and I thought, wow, I am so good at all, explaining the rules of rugby. All I heard, <laughs> blah, 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 but he was pretty, it was very nice, I'm like, yep, say whatever you want, I don't care. I'd love to know, if put a time on it, how long I actually explained the He was talking so long, so long. <laughs> but to be fair, the whole day he was talking, he told me about his family, about football, about right, like everything. I'm not sure I said anything. No, I'm not sure you not said anything. It's just, you just, you just feel you clicked, right? You, you just, you just feel it. Obviously you don't feel like it's, it's like the one person on the first day, but you, you definitely feel different. You feel so comfy, you don't feel like you need to pretend being someone and it was a big achievement for the first date, you know, everyone feels usually awkward on the first date mm. so that we both felt comfortable, it was it was really nice Yeah, it, that, that's the one thing I would take away from our first date, it was really comfortable yeah. No kiss at the end of the day, I was a perfect gentleman, hug Yeah, you know what, that moment, you know, when you, when, you, when you say goodbye uh, to each other and I hate it I'm sorry, but I hate it when guys try to kiss you. Yeah. I just, I, I just feel like it's like the tick, you know, like yeah, I've done it. I've went on the date. I need to kiss you. I don't know. I just, it's just me. It's just me personally. Like you do what you do, you know. If you feel comfortable, if you love it, yeah. please. But I, I, I don't. So for me, it was really. I think for me, it would be just big no. Oh hell no! So yeah, I was like. Let's see. <laughs> and it's just so hard to read though. Any, you know, all you guys who've been on first dates, you have to make a decision in this split the moment. You have to try and read the room, don't you? And yeah, you should. Do I mean, I mean, yeah, sometimes it does work. Girl, sometimes right? it does work. Sometimes, but sometimes, it's so, from a guy point of view, it sometimes it's so yeah. hard to read yeah, that. No, you know? I know, yeah. But I knew with you. Yeah. I, I, I knew with you. It's <laughs> like no way was I. I didn't want to do anything because I knew you. You know, when you just walk away from a date and it's just perfect, you just walk away and you think. Absolutely nailed that. Um, I didn't want to do anything to kind of ruin it, so I think a hug <laughs> was yep. uh, the right thing to do at the time. I think that is our, our day first with date in the the Irish Welsh <laughs> <laughs> with an Italian slash Russian. Russian. <laughs> yeah, and, and since then, um, here we are, four years together. Since then, we talked every day. There was never a day we didn't yeah. talk to each other. And the first date probably is the most normal part of, of our relationship. whole relationship. The first date, despite the rest of the relationship being crazy, like a Hollywood movie, the first date was actually the most normal, but it was the most lovely. Yeah. Well, wasn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys, for listening to our first YouTube video. Um, if you did like this video, and if you haven't already, please do click subscribe um, on our channel. We really do appreciate any support that we get. And please let us know in comments what do you think about our first video. We would really appreciate it. Yeah. We'd love to know what you think, guys. And yeah. we'll see you next video. Awesome. See you later, guys. <laughs> oh, awesome recording. <laughs>